Hey guys, Blind here. Just had to double check to make sure my mic was actually on, and uh, today we're doing something that we've promised to do for a while. Right, Duke? Yep. We are going to be going through the mods in our April, April, August reset showcase for our server, and uh, I'm going to learn them, and you guys are going to learn them with me. You'll probably pick it up faster than me, because out of the bad gamers, I am the blind one, so, you know, I don't catch on these things as fast. First, got to go to multiplayers, and then I got to hop on the server. I do like the pack already in the uh, few yep. things I've seen. The, this, this, the intro screen was impressive. Loading in for the first time is probably going to take ages, so I uh, hope you guys don't mind a little bit of wait and maybe a little fast Should forward. Be. So we're just going to do like one mod a segment unless the mod takes multiple segments to do, correct? Correct. I mean like... Okay, I'm in! You might need to adjust your video settings. I mean, hell, this is your first time on. Hang on, let me just pack. let me just. Uh... Now, please note what this is. This is an alpha of the pack. There, if you ever see him playing around on this, there will be there will be bugs. There will be recipe conflicts. That is stuff we've been looking at and fixing. All right. Oh. Oh. Control is my uh, Optifine zoom. Boop, 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 boop. Gah, nah, gosh dang it. Okay, let's see, what do I got here? I start off with Flint tool set. The... Yeah, you can just get rid of that. Okay, I'm and just gonna... You can, you can just, uh... Shift destroy everything there. Or you can just do slash clear. Yeah, slash clear always works too. Now... <clears throat> Now, I find myself next to a pretty nice sized village. Uh, pretty fancy looking. That's a. That's not a church, it's more like a castle. Um. Oh, yeah, that's right. These are those villagers that actually defend themselves and stuff. How to do, yeah. Degardi? Alright, uh. You can just TP to me. Hang on, let me, uh. Me. I gotta remember how to adjust my minimap. Because I have a waypoint set, and I know I didn't set any waypoints. Oh, well, I'll, I'll just... Oh, fuck me. There we go. Okay. So. Yep, so. Okay. Whoa. I don't mind the tech stuff just yet. We're going to get to that. In a future episode. So, so why didn't you just teleport to me and not make me go? Oh my god! Just kidding, guys. It's it's okay. <laughs> we're, we're see. We're going to start out with a few of the mods that add in a lot of storage ability. It's a chest made of dirt. I'm I'm going to get to that. Okay, I'm sorry. Going to explain how we're going to start because the biggest problem people have always come across is storage. Now. That was me First shaking my head, yes. Is a mod called Iron Chess. It, it, as, it, as the name suggests, it has a shit ton of different chests. But it made of dirt. Yes. First up is the chest of dirt 9,000. Wait, wait. 9,000? <laughs> there was 8,999 failed versions of a dirt <laughs> chest? <laughs> <laughs> Am I the only one who notices the odd thing here? I don't know, but, uh, this mod is by CPW, and, um, it, when you first create the dirt chest, you have a book in there by him. It basically says what it is. It, you are allowed to store a stack of dirt in it at one time. You can only stack dirt in the dirt chest. Yep. I see. Alright. Now, you do have, like, your normal... Chest that you normally can build. Uh, yeah. And, it, and if you look at it, it's only like three rows of what is that? One, two, three. 
three, three by, by nine. nine. Twenty-seven slots. Hmm. Good store. Well, a level up from that is a copper chest. Not a dirt chest. A, a dirt chest is like a level down. Whoa! Yeah, that looks like it's got an extra two roads of nine, so it's got eighteen more spots. Yep, it has eighteen more spots. Ah, and then we and go. All, and if you look at any eye blind, you can look up copper chest and uh, press the R key over it, and it'll show you how to make it. Pretty much, it's just a chest surrounded by copper. Okay. And then above that, you have the iron chest. Uh, Am I correct? Up, uh, up, uh, um, um. Press, uh, press the R key. R key. R key. Okay. It's creative server blind, so we're not in recipe mode by default. Yeah, I forgot that. Uh, that's why I was going up, up, up. Next is your iron chest, which is either a copper chest with four glass and four iron, or a regular chest surrounded by eight uh, by iron. Okay. Uh -huh. And then what the heck's this? Silver? And you have your silver chest. Interesting. Which is basically a copper chest surrounded by silver, or an iron chest surrounded by four silver and four glass. So this silver chest has, like, almost the storing capability of, oopsie, two and a third regular chests, because it's an got... iron chest is like a double chest. Yeah. So this is just a double chest with two more rows. Pretty much. That's impressive. But space-consuming, too. I mean, space-reducing. Yes. Saves your space. Then you have your gold chest. Dear heavens... Three, Another four, two five, rows six, to it. Seven, eight, nine. This one's... 81 items could be stored in there. And this is just an iron chest surrounded by gold or a silver chest with four glass and four gold. Huh. Make. Then you have the three top tiers. What the hell is this? Crystal get, chest? I, I will get to them in a minute. First off, you have your diamond chest. This is the max it can hold. It is a 12 by 1. Two. It's like a 12 by 9, I think. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, 12 by 9. It's like another, almost like another two rows to the uh, gold chest. Mm -hmm. Holds a shit ton of items. And all that. Now, the crystal version is the exact same thing as the diamond chest. Except, when you throw items in there... Yeah. Do you see them? Ah, oh, cool. And the obsidian chest. Nah. Can see? It also Whoa. Obs obsidian chest, also the same thing as the gold and crystal chest, except it's blast proof. Oh, so. So. A TNT explosion will not destroy it. Creeper explosion would not destroy it. Apparently the iron chest and silver chest are okay too. <laughs> uh, you're probably too far away from the explosion to actually do damage. Yeah, let's let's not have me go explosive crazy, shall we? Nope. And that is the uh, oh wait. Now there are upgrades for these. Really, you can upgrade these chests? I am. If you type in iron chests in your NEI. You'll see them right after the dirt chest. Wood to there. iron upgrade. Silver to wood gold to upgrade. And what you do is, uh, we're going to grab the wood to copper. I, oh, that's what I want to grab here. And shift right click on the chest. Turns the wood one into a copper chest. Huh. And copper then I can... Silver. Grab a uh, silver to gold. Like this. And then just go boop. Yep. Neat. And it just upgrades them. So, how does one make these upgrades, though? Let's see. You need the silver surrounding just a copper ingot. To go from the copper to the silver, yeah. Would and that be more efficient than just making the chest, or no? Well, see, here's the thing, though. It's literally about the same, resource-wise. Uh-huh. Because the way it is, it's like... To get from iron, you need a chest surrounded by iron. Uh huh. But to get from the wood to the iron upgrade, you just need a piece of wood surrounded by iron, and then you have the chest. 
So say you have a chest that's already filled with stuff. Huh. You just make the upgrade, slap it on, it keeps the stuff in it. That's nifty. Yep. And it just upgrades the chest, gives you more space. So, to do this in survival, what I would need to do is literally what you just described. I'd need to take a chest, and I'll put this down, and then I just need to get the resources of just the iron, for the example one. And just like, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just doing this stupid people way, because, you know, stupid is, stupid does, and, and that, and that works as that. Okay. So, yeah, that is very simple. Yep, it, they're not too expensive. Even the diamond one only costs, I think it's two diamonds. How does one make the diamond one, then? Let me check this out. How can you do it with only two diamonds? No, because it's two diamonds and six pieces of glass surrounding a gold chest. Yep, you're right. Or three diamonds and glass. Surrounding a silver, was it? Yeah. Yeah, so depending on the chest you have, depends on the up, the upgrades and the type of ones you can go. All right, so that that's pretty straightforward, and uh... yes, it it's very good for a quick early game storage. Don't have to worry about much. Uh huh. And that wraps it up pretty much for the iron chest mod. Ah, well, thank you for showing us that. I'll uh, see you guys in the next uh, mod showcasing. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.